We'll check in back with you in a little bit. Angela, thank you. New at 7 o'clock, the future of one neighborhood is under debate in the city council this evening. Apparently, a large house being built on Mark Twain Avenue is stirring up debate at a public hearing. Jefferson Tyler picks up the story at the public meeting and spoke to both sides of the issue earlier today. And Jefferson, how did it go? Well, both sides are inside the city council chambers right now presenting their case on whether they should revoke that building permit or not. And it's an emotional day for both the owner of that house as well as the man who's trying to get that building uh, permit revoked on that 2,800 square foot home that's at 110 Mark Twain Avenue. Now, as we go to the video, you can see that that home actually towers over the homes that are right next door. I spoke to the city planning office who told me it's actually been built to city code and there actually has been no height exceptions. The owner says that he built the home the way it is because he wants to make his wife happy. And the man who is appealing the build says that he's concerned that the new house will conflict with what he says is the historic look of the area, including his neighbor's homes as well as his own. I work hours every day on this house. I've put a lot into it. I feel that that has been, that has been ignored and dishonored. Can't I have a big house? And that, that, I left a 7,500 square foot home to move into this. So I've only got 2,800 square feet and a two car garage. That is not a monstrosity. The majority of that house is new, but the owner says that it is actually a rebuild because the smaller brick section is from a previous structure. He adds that he's also using restored brick from previous structure in the new construction. Now, an interesting side note, the owner actually says that he grew up just down the road actually from his new home, and he actually has waited seven years to build the new house. Covering the story, Jefferson Tyler, 2 News.